Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Hope everything's going well for you guys. And I do want to do a baseball video. My uh, New York Yankees out of the playoffs. They got eliminated by the Boston Red Sox. And uh, there, there are just a couple of things, uh, a couple of uh, few thoughts uh, that I wanted to um, say. Um, now, a couple of things. Um, Miguel Andohar was amazing this season. I really hope he ends up playing, being the permanent third baseman. Now, just who am I? I know uh, Gene Carl Stanton, phenomenal player. But doesn't he have an awful stance and swing? Now, listen, I know what this guy is capable of doing and there's a reason why he's one of the best but he he just doesn't move the lower half of his body right or is it just me just th uh, just through off off speed away and he'll strike out swinging every time uh you know just my thoughts there too um no his not his ninth inning uh, at bat last night looked like the kid on a little league team that has to get his you know required one at bat sadly uh, but you know there there were many things there um, now is Severino the ace Is this team too reliant on the long ball? Um, maybe, and it's probably they've been relying on the long ball, I think, since the days of A-Rod. Um, you know, uh, but this team, uh, when you look at this team, uh, you could almost say it was predictable. You know, home run or bust type of, that's just how the team that was built. Can't steal, they can't bunt, move runners over, can barely play defense can't hit in the clutch or you know sometimes it seems or have dependable starting um, pitching this postseason so that, that's you know a couple of factors that you look in there um, and and honestly the you know the, the last the last game there the last two games you know we we got embarrassed and the only reason you might argue that this game was uh, uh, was exciting in the ninth is because, you know, Angel Hernandez is quite honestly, he could be the worst umpire. And, and that strike zone became smaller by about 75%. Listen, this season is a massive failure. And I guess it's always a massive failure, you know, if you're a Yankee fan. It's uh, World Series or bust. But what are you going to do? Okay. What are you going to do? You argue about getting, you know, starting pitching for next year. Okay. But who's out there? Who are you going to get? Clayton Kershaw? Come on, guys. That's not realistic. Okay. Max Serzer? Okay. Serzer, dominant pitcher, plays on Washington. How many series has Washington won? Think about that, guys. Do you know the answer? None. None. With Max Serger. Justin Verlander. Yeah, what he did, he caught lightning in a bottle. But that's not always a guarantee. What I'm telling you is... Starting pitching, uh, I don't think really guarantees you anything, uh, you know, especially in a short series as we have seen uh, before. It doesn't. Um, and what are you going to do? Um, you know, listen. Uh, it, it's starting pitching will help you get be successful throughout the year, 
but I don't think it really matters much in the playoffs as history has shown us. It's really luck of the uh, luck of luck of the just luck of the draw. Again, throw me some names out there that you could get. A lot of these players out there, you're going to have to give up three people. Three people out there to get to get a, a starting pitching. What are you giving up, you know, when these guys were flat in the postseason? Look at look what happened with, I think what happened, you know, with this series, and and if you were looking uh, to blame someone, this is what it comes down to on this series: Chris Sale, Nathan Evaldi, and Rick Porcello. And this is what I mean. Look how fluky it was. Nathan Evaldi had a history of getting. Uh, not not pitching more than 80 pitches, not lasting long pitching wise. Chris Sale looks shaky. Rick Porcello, not what he was a couple of years ago. But look, they had great pitching this series, and it negated the good hitters. This is what the difference in this series was. The Red Sox middle relief was their weak link. And the starting pitching of the Yankees was theirs for this series. And the Yankees' starting pitching was more liability than the Sox pen. Who are you going to fire? Are you going to fire anyone on the Yankees? No, they won 100 win. They won over 100 games. 100 win team. Even with the starting pitching, 100 win team. The problem is, is that what carried them this year failed in the postseason. But on a whole, you know, who is there to get without without giving out the whole farm? I don't think there's no one really to get. Um, it, it, it's a learning experience. Learning experience. But there's really... You know, how would have things full, played out differently? I really don't think... Um, you know, the Sox were just a better team. There's really no one or no person to blame here. Um, that's it. You know, I will continue doing some more Yankee videos throughout this off season, Continuing uh, covering baseball with the Yankees and other... Uh, you know, other issues around the Major League Baseball and transactions and series and all that good stuff. So, uh, look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.